Hi, in this video we're going to demonstrate using um, DocuSign webhooks with FileMaker document sign-in to automatically have DocuSign push the completed PDF uh, document back to FileMaker without having to uh, query it and download it uh, or poll it from DocuSign. So let's get started with the demonstration. So I'm going to use my DocuSign uh, demo database. I've set up a, a simple um, layout with a contract. Uh, I'm going to send this contract which looks uh, like this and has some um, fields at the bottom for sign-in. So I've got my con uh, contact already set up, so I've got my email address, so we're ready to go. So I'm just going to click the Send Agreement button. And that's going to create a PDF of that layout I was just showing you and uh, make a request uh, using the DocuSign API uh, and send an email uh, to that email address uh, requesting uh, that they uh, sign the document. So I've stored my uh, FileMaker PDF uh, in this field and uh, now I'm ready to download the sign agreement but I've got to complete that agreement first so let's go and uh, check my email and we'll see if we've got that uh, request and here it is here so I'm going to uh, copy the link and just go over to Google Chrome and paste that in and uh, up comes the request okay so I'll uh, agree to that and continue and I'll just uh, review the document all looks good to me so I'll go to the, the sign-in page at the end, so I'll put in the customer's name and I'll sign there. So I'll adopt and sign. Okay, so I'm happy with that, so I'll click finish. And uh, no thanks to that. Okay, so that document has been uh, completed, it's been signed. So if I go back to FileMaker and just hide everything else, normally I would um, uh, either poll DocuSign to see if that uh, document had been completed or click this button to download it. Um, but both of those require me to sort of check to see whether the uh, document has been signed and it could be still pending so it's a bit of a waste of a request and I could have that running on a server schedule. So we're using a webhook uh, with DocuSign. You can see that uh, without me doing anything uh, that uh, DocuSign PDF was just automatically uh, inserted uh, into this field. So DocuSign uh, sent a request to uh, or sent a notification to the webhook we've got set up on our FileMaker server and it uh, pulled down the uh, completed uh, PDF and if I uh, have a look at that uh, you can see that uh, if I scroll to the bottom there's the uh, signature and um, name that I entered before. So that's how you can have uh, DocuSign uh, use their uh, webhooks to automatically push uh, notifications to your FileMaker server and save you having to uh, poll uh, DocuSign uh, to either check for the status of a uh, document and download it. Uh, DocuSign also have limits on how many times you can um, poll. I think it's uh, no more than once every 15 minutes. So using the power webhooks means you don't have to poll. Uh, the completed documents will automatically be sent to your FileMaker server and you can include uh, other forms of notification so you can get FileMaker server to send you an email or an SMS if it was a particular critical document. Uh, but that's how easy it is to uh, have complete documents automatically pushed to your uh, FileMaker server using uh, the DocuSign API and the power of webhooks. Thanks for watching.